What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High, Pri I, I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 new. You guys are new to my channel, and you enjoy my content. You can smash the sub button to be notified for, for future readings. This is um, weekly uh, weekly reading for the sign of Capricorn. This can resonate if you have caps to any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. This is week four for December of 2021. Um, this can resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter. It's a free general reading, so it's very, very, very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Just saying. I haven't got any channeled in yet for the sign of caps, but if I do, I will let you know. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. If you donate that way, it's very private and confidential. I do not share how much you donate or your name. So just to let everybody know, <clears throat> I appreciate all the donations, likes, subscribes, shares, and unlikes. I, I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. Six of Cups Reverse, King of Pentacles Upright. A Capricorn has gotten severe clarity on a Taurus. Severe. Some a Taurus, some another Capricorn, some a Virgo. Oh, okay. Well, wow. Okay. So, um, let's see if we hear anything else. Some Capricorns are going to stay away from this person. Some are going to be drugged into a divorce. Hearing. Some have had a huge wake-up call that one of these people was a lover of their sister's past. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, holy crap. So you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, um, heavy earth sign energy, I'll tell you that. Um, for some, it's a Taurus. For some, it's a, another Capricorn. For some, it's a Virgo. I mean, that's earth sign energy all day long. So heavy earth sign energy. It can be a masculine Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or a fin that takes on heavy masculine energy because they're coming in as um, King of Pentacles. So, um, there's, um, it sounds like they make good money or they are a trust fund baby or they're secured financially in some shape, form or fashion, but they're either a masculine energy or a fin that takes on heavy masculine force Capricorn or Virgo, but you've gotten severe clarity. You've gotten severe clarity on this force Capricorn Virgo masculine or fem. for some, I heard you're going to stay away from them for some, um, you're going to be drugged into the middle of a divorce battle soon. Um, I think as a subpoenaed witness or um, asked to testify in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and for some, um, but somehow you're going to be drugged into a divorce battle. So somehow you're going to be drugged into it. I don't know if you're the other woman, other man, um, or if it's uh, asked to testify or if you're going to be subpoenaed. But somehow you're going to be drugged into some kind of court battle if this resonates with you. And for some... Um, this uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, masculine or femme, I found, um, I heard that you um, just found out one of these particular people was a lover of your sister's past. So you plug it in how it resonates. And it pisses you off. Oh my God, I heard it. And it pisses you off. So for whoever that is, that one particular message about you finding out that this Taurus Capricorn or Virgo masculine, it's probably a masculine energy, but it might be a femme energy, uh, you know, with homosexual relationships. For some, it might be, <clears throat> excuse me, it might be a femme energy. Uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo femme energy. Uh, maybe your sister's into females, possibly. Or for some, it might be a masculine energy. But whoever this person is, this Taurus Capricorn Virgo, the one particular message where you, I heard you found, you just found out that this person 
is a lover of your sister's past, I heard it pisses you off. So maybe you were romantically interested in them or you have been around them in some shape, form, or fashion and you are romantically attracted to them possibly, but I don't know why it would piss you off unless you were one of them too is what I'm trying to say. So you plug it in, how that resonates. Um, but um, yeah, holy crap. But you have the Six of Cups reversed. So Six of Cups upright is a person from your past. It's a person, whoever this is, it's a person in your past. It's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, it's a person in your past. But you're not on good terms with them because it's Six of Cups reversed. So it's a person in your past, but you're not on good terms with them, whoever they are. Um, for some, I heard you're just going to completely cut them out of your life. You're just going to chop, chop, chop them out. For some, this court, you coming into this divorce court battle soon, I don't think you're going to want to be there. Is I, I absolutely don't. I don't. I think you're either going to be the other woman, the other man, or a subpoenaed witness. I don't, for some, you could agree to testify willingly, but for some, I don't feel you're going to want to. I feel you're going to be drugged there. I didn't hear subpoena energy, but I possibly feel it is. But you plug it in how it resonates. And then the one that finding out this Taurus Capricorn Virgo is a lover of your sister's past. Why you're pissed about that, I'm not sure unless you want that person too. So you plug it in how that resonates. Spirit messages you have for Sonic Capricorn. Someone is under investigation for embezzlement. Okay, I heard someone's under investigation for embezzlement. And tax evasion. And tax evasion. Holy crap. So you plug it in how it resonates. Man. So someone's under investigation for embezzlement and tax evasion. Now, I heard someone. So it could be you or somebody you're connected to. But somebody's under investigation for embezzlement and tax evasion. So you have to plug that in your life however it fits. Um, I didn't hear a Capricorn. I just heard someone. So you plug it in how it resonates, but that's that's serious. That's prison energy. Uh, anybody doesn't know Al Capone, the biggest American gangster in American history, um, he did horrible, heinous things in the world. He was the biggest, he was the most powerful, biggest gangster in American history. But the way he got put in prison was tax evasion. For anybody who doesn't know that, tax evasion is what got him. Not all the murders that he planned, his little minions to commit, not all the horrible, heinous drug trafficking and uh, crimes and this, that, and the other that he um, uh, uh, planned and um, helped um, formulate and all this. It was tax evasion that got his ass. So just saying, just saying, but somebody's being investigated for tax evasion and um, embezzlement. So you plug it in, how that resonates. Judgment upright, princes of swords reversed. A Capricorn is having a huge wake-up call about serious lies that a Libra has told. Serious. And this Capricorn is about to see it. Some a Libra for some a Leo. This Capricorn is about to see it in the 3D time soon. For some Capricorns, they will be talking to an investigator. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates with you, Caps, I heard you, um, you're seeing huge lies that for some, a Libra, for some, a Leo has told you. So for some, um, they could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Maintain, or Jupiter. Um, Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Maintain, or Jupiter. And for some, a Virgo. And for some, a Virgo. And for some, a Taurus. Holy crap. Okay. So for some of you guys, it's lies a Libra told you. For some, it's lies a Leo told you. For some, it's lies a Taurus told you. For some, it's lies a Virgo told you. 
You have to plug these people in how you fit. For some, it could resonate one. For some, two plus. They could have Libra, Leo, Taurus, or Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midham, or Jupiter. But I heard you're about to see it in 3D soon. So you're about to see it manifest in three. these lies they have told you. You're about to see them manifest in 3D soon. For some, I heard you're going to speak to an investigator soon. So I don't know if you want to speak to this investigator, if you have manifested this manif uh, manifested this investigator in, or if somebody else has manifested this investigator in and you're part of the investigation or part of somebody else's investigation. However, that resonates, or you might have been, or you might be the one that's going to manifest this investigator in. We've been pulling a lot of Federal Trade Commission reporting in. So for some, you might manifest this investigator in yourself, um, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. But uh, wake up call energy. Wake up call energy because you're about to see it manifest in 3D. Um, so I don't feel for a lot of you guys, you are the one manifesting this investigator because of the wake up call energy. I don't. For some, you could be uh, manifesting this investigator. You could report and manifest this uh, investigator in possibly. But for a lot of you guys, I don't feel it is because we've got judgment upright. Wake up call. You are having a wake, you are having a wake up call. So I think for some, I think, feel for a lot of you guys, actually, you're going to speak to this investigator. You're not, you're not going to want to, basically. You're not going to want to. It sounds like somebody else is manifesting this investigator in. Um, and you're not going to want to speak to them. But you're about to learn a lies. It sounds like you're about to get truth regardless, though. You're about to get truth um, because it's about to, sounds like, hit you in the 3D whether you want it to or not because it's some kind of investigation. And some of you guys are going to be speaking to an investigator whether you manifest them as, uh, in the investigator in or somebody else does. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, this is strong. And then this is a lie energy. For some, I heard it was a lies that Leo told you, some a uh, Libra, for some a Taurus, for some a Virgo, and for some a Pisces. And for some a Pisces. So for some, it was a Leo, Libra, Pisces, Taurus, or Virgo told you. You plug it in how it resonates. Heavy investigator energy. Spirit messages you have for sign of cats. Pyramids you have okay. A Capricorn is about to send a very, very, very large donation to a reader soon. Paying it forward energy. Very well deserved. This reader has helped, helped this Capricorn out in many ways. And this Capricorn knows it. Oh, that's a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, you go through bad self caps, whoever you're sending the large, very large donation to, um, whoever it is in the universe, it could be me or somebody else. Um, but somebody's about to get a very large donation from, um, from a caps. It sounds like you're about to send a very large donation to a reader. Um, well, uh, paying a forward energy. I heard this, uh, reader has helped you out in many ways. So, and we are in the Christmas time area. So, um, Kudos to you for paying it forward. You go through bad self, whoever it is, whether it's me or somebody else. I wish blessings, love, and light upon everybody. So just saying. So Ace of Swords upright, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Major, major truth is about to come out about a partic particular Tauren in a Capricorn's life. For some, it is someone they went to school with in the past. For some, it is a lover. It's going to cause this Capricorn to separate away from this Tauren. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my goodness. So for who, heavy torrent energy in here, whoever this is for, um, I heard major truth is about to come out about a torrent of a um, Cap's life. For some of you guys, it is 
someone you went to school with, and for some it's a lover, so you plug it in how it resonates, either a current lover or former lover, and I just heard lover, so to me it could be a current lover or a former lover, you have to plug it in how it resonates, and for some it is someone you went to school with. So, um, lover energy and someone you went to school with, you have to plug these people, uh, plug it in however it resonates for you. I feel it could be a current lover or a past lover, however that resonates, but major truths about to come out about this Taurus. It could be a masculine or femme Taurus. They could have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, and to Jupiter, but I heard it's going to cause you to separate even more away from this Taurus. So, some kind of, it sounds like truth publicly. Now, that this could be social media or this could be um 3d word of mouth in the community or it could be both but i mean ace of swords upright that this is the truth card truth coming out about this torn whether it's your current lover former lover or person you went to school with <clears throat> it's coming out whether this Taurus wants it to come out or not and whatever it is it's going to make you separate away from them i heard even more um, so I think you're probably going to cut some of these people out of your life if you're able to. Now, for some, you might have children with them or you might be connected to them legally in some shape, form or fashion. Um, and you might not be able to separate away the way you want to. But you're definitely going to put your boundaries up, I feel. For sure, for sure, for sure. They're coming in as um, Knight of Pentacles reversed, stable, ungrounded, unreliable, undependable. So um, they're not a stable grounding force in your life anyways. It doesn't sound like they uh, help you elevate your life. It sounds like they drag you down anyways. So it sounds like it's a smart decision, but of course everybody has free will and you can do what you want. Okay. All right, I'm going to pull a card. A Capricorn is finally going to apologize to a feminine energy. They know they should have done it a long time ago, and they're about to do it soon. Lots of truth there. Spirit messages you have, Sonica. Okay, I heard a Cap Capricorn is about to ap finally apologize to a feminine energy. I heard they sh they know they should have done it a long time ago, um, but they ha they didn't do it for some strange reason. But they're about to do it soon. So this could, you know, you take it how it resonates. It could be for you or somebody you're connected to. But it sounds like at least one Capricorn in the universe is about to, I heard, finally apologize to um, a feminine energy. So you could be masculine or femme caps. But whoever you're about to apologize to is a feminine energy. I heard you know you should have done it a long time ago, but you didn't do it for some strange reason. But you're about to do it soon. And a lot of truth is going to be there. So you're going to be very truthful and honest with this femme energy. And apologize. So you, that's a good one too. You plug it in how it resonates. And you have playfulness. Playfulness. For one particular Capricorn, a Pisces is going to try to very heavily flirt with you for very strategic reasons soon. This would not be smart. You know how this person is. And for some, they're going through a divorce right now. And you do not want to get involved in that. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dear God. So whoever this is, Pisces energy strong. I heard a particular Pisces, if this resonates with you, I heard it's going to try to flirt with you very, very heavily. Um, and um, I heard you know how they are. So I think they have a history of flirting with you. Um, they probably have a history of flirting and manipulating you. They probably flirt with you to man manipulate your ass. For some, it's probably for money. I'm not even going to lie. Probably. Just saying. I mean, I'm not saying it is, but maybe. Um, there's a reason they flirt with you, is what I'm saying. They get something out of it. Just saying. In some shape, form, or fashion. Whatever it is in your life, only you know that. So you plug it in how it resonates. But um, I heard um, it would not be smart. It would not be smart. So, of course, you can take the messages and that resonate and leave the rest but if you feel this resonates with you or from spirit it wouldn't be smart of course you can choose to listen to spirit or not you plug it in everybody has free will but you plug it in how it resonates but um but i heard <clears throat> some of these pisces so it's at least two or more pisces in the universe you have to plug in your life outfits some of these pisces are going through a current diver divorce so it would not be smart definitely would not be smart at this point because they're going through a divorce so you don't want to be drugged into like subpoena energy 
or because somebody's got the drug in the court of law, whether they want to be in some kind of divorce already. So do you want to be this person about to be drug in the court of law too? Because of somebody's wife or husband trying to get up on you in the middle of a divorce and their spouse finds out about it. I know I wouldn't want to be nay, nay. So um, you plug it. I mean, of course you can choose to listen to spirit or not, but this Pisces is flirting with you. Playfulness is their energy. They're flirting with you for strategic reasons. And some of them are going through divorces. So, of course, you can have the free will to communicate with them and flirt back. But, I mean, if you want to be, some of you want to end up in the middle of court battles and subpoena energy and all that crap, just saying, just saying. And a particular child in a Capricorn's life is about to be very, very happy, very playful and happy. It'd be smart to focus on child for some and children for some and stay out of the drama. Be happy in the moment. Well, this is a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, this is a good one. So for some of you guys, it's child or children. They're, it's very happy and very playful. In this situation, it's not flirting, obviously. This is children energy. It's true happiness and playfulness and um, childlike energy. Um, does everybody remember how it felt to be a child? Um, just saying. I mean, adult world is completely different than child world. And they have every right to be happy and playful. I I want to preserve my ch uh, children's playfulness as long as possible. Um, but And I would hope anybody would want to preserve one's child's playfulness as much as possible is what I'm trying to say. Or anybody's child's playfulness as much as possible because you only get one childhood. And whoever this is, this child is very happy. They're very happy and they're very playful and they just want to be happy and playful and childlike. Um, and I heard it from Spirit to be smart, just to be happy and childlike and play play with them, basically, and stay out of the drama. I think the adult drama, I think flirting with this Pisces, manipulating, flirting you energy. I think this Taurus of your past or your lover or current lover energy. I think um, all this um, lies from a Virgo, a Taurus, a Libra, a Leo, and another Capricorn energy. I think um, this Taurus that you're pulling in so strong. I mean, however that resonates, just be in the moment and, you know, play, shoot some hoops, um, paint a picture, watercolor, um, sing a song, play some video games, you know, childlike energy. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I, this is wonderful message. This is a wonderful message because there's nothing better than being able to experience, whether it's your child or somebody you're connected to's child, being able to be a child with them, at least for a little while. That's the way I look at it. But you plug it in how it resonates. Hopefully that helps somebody. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. One particular Capricorn is going to file a very important Federal Trade Commission report soon. Really going to help out. Now. Oh, okay. So I heard one particular Capricorn is about to file a very important Federal Trade Commission report. Going to help out now. So to me, that's not playfulness. That's not playfulness. But, um... You're, whoever this is, whoever you are out there, you're, I heard you're going to file one very important particular Federal Trade Commission report. I heard you're really going to, um, it's you're going to help out now. So you know some very important information that could be included in a Federal Trade Commission report and you're going to help out now. Well, you go with your bad self, whoever you are. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Federal Trade Commission reporting is basically, it, it reports on Scammers, spammers, frauds, con men, con women, illegal businesses, and yes, Secret 7 situation is included in illegal businesses because it was a hidden camera implanted in a single mother's home and they drew a business out of it and there was no consent or authorization to have the damn camera in there to begin with. Um, and she never made a dime off that. So that was strict illegal business for sure because she... Um, she paid the rent or mortgage on her home. Nobody else did. So that is considered an illegal business. 
And yes, it is FTC reporting. So if anybody is unclear about that. Also, number 15 might be very significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 15, it could be a possible age of a child. Somebody's pulling in heavy children energy. So um, maybe um, somebody has a 15-year-old or you are connected to a 15-year-old in some shape, form, or fashion. Also, 15 could be a possible jersey number, lottery number, date of birth number, social security number, green card number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, or reoccurrent number you're seeing out on uh, billboards or advertisements, number 15. You plug it in however that resonates. All right, we're done. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and Namaste.